I call heaven and earth today to bear witness against you. I have placed before you life and death, blessing and curse, and you shall choose life so that you may live, you and your offspring. Deuteronomy 30, verse 19. In the Torah, God says to the people through Moses, I place before you this day life and death. Choose life that you may live. Now, the 20th century gave us two symbols that absolutely illustrate that choice. The life choice is seeing our planet, the Earth, from outer space. You can see one globe with no national boundaries. You just see swirling white clouds on a blue marble, one blue planet. And, and that's the life choice, seeing our planet as one Earth. The death choice is the mushroom cloud. But between that blue planet and the mushroom cloud is the choice we have to make today. And both affect the entire planet. When Chernobyl melted down, that radiation went around the globe. What we do in one part of the world affects all of us. Everything that you do affects everything else that you do. And I believe that Judaism teaches us this. The commandments are like the operation manual for spaceship Earth. That God said, this is how you operate this planet. And we need to take that operation manual out and read those directions a little more carefully. Because in some places, we have not been doing it properly, so now we have dirty water, we have dirty air, we have cancer from additives in our foods. If you read that operation manual, which is the Torah, God says, be fruitful and multiply and take care of the earth. We've been fruitful, and we've multiplied, but we are not taking care of the earth properly. We as Jews, being commanded by God to care for this world that he gave us, need to take up the banner of ecological responsibility and of ecological consciousness and to incorporate into our kosher lifestyles those things which lead us to be compassionate, to be moral, and to be responsible in caring for this planet.